Can you say hi, Arya? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with the um, Sanjiao channel. Okay, Sanjiao channel. So first point is um, the Guan Chong, you know, which is on the ring finger. Okay, so if I were to mark it, it would be like about here. Okay. Okay, so right there, yeah. Okay, you okay? Yep. Okay, and then Sanja 2 is the Yemen. Oh I can't. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, man. Okay, and you know, making the Y um, and everything, right? But it's it's 0.5 soon from the web margin between the fourth and fifth. Um, so just right here, yeah. And a lot of times when we needle it, we go right into that, that joint space right there. Okay, so Sanja 2. Okay, Sanja 3 is the uh, Zhongzhu, the central islet. So we start from. We start from Sanja 2, we just kind of ride over the metacarpal phalangeal joints right here, and then we fall into this depression immediately after. And this this is where Sanja 3 is. Okay. Okay. And um, Sanja 4, okay, so you can kind of feel the back of the wrist. I, I can kind of feel where her extensor digitorum communist muscles are, but if I want to be really sure, then I have her flex her wrist back, or extend the wrist back this way. And then I roll off of it towards the ulnar side, just off the, um, just to the ulnar side of that extensor digitorum communist. And there is a depression here, I feel. So this is where her Sanja 4 is right here. You don't really have to go into the process of feeling for the extensor digitorum um, in extensor digiti minimi um, tendon, really. Just as long as you're ulnar to the communists, you're fine. Okay. So Sanja 4. From Sanja 5, uh, I'm sorry, from Sanja 4, we go to Sanja 5, um, the Y Guan. So this is supposed to be too soon um, proximal from it. Usually I start, um, I w you know, I try to feel for it. So I start from Sanja 4 and I just kind of slide over past this um, styloid process of the ulna and kind of fall into a depression just beyond here. And it should be more or less in the middle, okay? But again, to be sure, you wanna um, be on the radial side of that extensor digitorum communis. So if you feel that, then you go to the radial side of it. Okay. So it'll be about here, okay? Let's see, this is about one, two soon. Okay, it seems a little bit far this way, but So that's Sanja 4, Sanja 5, um, then Sanja 6, which is that Jirgo, is going to be 3 soon. Okay, so take this distance from Sanja 4 to the lateral epicondyle, this is half, and about half of that is going to be about here. So this is about 3 soon, right here. Okay. And again, we try to keep on the uh, radial side of that. Um, of that um, extensor digitorum communis muscle. So Sanja 4, 5, 6. Sanja 7 is um, on the, um, let's see. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sanja 4, 5, 6. Okay, 7 is gonna be the next. Yeah. So this one is 4 soon, and it's like one third of the distance. So. From here, here, we take about a third, and this should be about here. Again, we try to stay um, radial to that. Wow, this right here. Okay. Okay, and then um, the next point, the Huizong. Okay. That's gonna be. Um, ulnar to, it's at the same level, but ulnar to the extensor digitorum communis, so they're about here. You're still trying to stay between the radius and the ulna though, okay? So four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Sanjiao nine is uh, Su Du, or the four rivers. Okay, so that's the one that is uh, seven Sun, 
uh, proximal from Sanjiao 4. So lateral epicondyle is here, Sanjiao 4 is here. We divide this into half. This is 6 sun. We go 1 sun further, about here. And we try to stay between the um, radius and ulna. Okay, so this is about where sun, Sanjiao 9 is going to be. Okay. okay. And then, um, why don't we just turn this way? I'm sorry. Okay. So from there, we jump over to the upper arm, yeah? Okay, so we locate Sanjiao 10 with the elbow flexed, yeah? This will, here we can find where the olecranon is, this point right here. We go just one cent up, you know? You can just slide up to that point. Again, it's where the, kind of where the bone ends and the tendon begins. Okay, so from here to here, this is, where Sanjiao 10 is. Okay. Sanjiao 11 is just going to be another sun further up. So from here, about here. Okay. So Sanjiao 10, Sanjiao 11. From here, I'm going to find um, Sanjiao 14. Okay. So I'm going to have her abduct her arm this way. Start at the um, acromion right here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Chromian, and then we go posterior. Okay, posterior and inferior to find. It actually, this is your chromian here. Okay, posterior and inferior to find this depression right here. This is where um, Sanjiao 14 is. Okay, so you can put your arm down. If we have our Sanjiao 10, Sanjiao 14 here, this is defining the line of the Sanjiao channel. So. For the point Sanjiao 12 and 13, we can just start at like um, our Sanjiao 10, and we can slide up. Okay, you're gonna try tensing up your um. Okay, so this part right here is where is kind of the um the actual muscle part of the tricep muscle. This area where it looks kind of um, flatter is the tendon. So for Sanjiao 12. We're going up the tendinous part. We're running up against the this part, the fleshy part of the muscle. Okay, so this is where um, Sanja 12 is, right at the border of the white and red part of that muscle. And we try to keep it on I, let's see, on this line, joining. Um, so I would go a little bit more this way for Sanja 12. Sorry. And then Sanjiao 13, it's about two-thirds of the distance between Sanjiao 10 and Sanjiao 14. So if we divide this into thirds, maybe about here, yeah? So if we continue from Sanjiao 12 and we slide up, kind of run into, um, this is the deltoid muscle up here. So we slide up until we run up against the, the edge of that deltoid muscle. And again, try to keep that line consistent. So about here. Okay. So deltoid tricep here. Okay. So is everybody kind of clear on that? Yeah.